So, <laughs> main event part one. We are on Monsoon's account right now, and he's got 61 sacred shards, guys. Jesus. We're not opening all just yet. We're, we're probably going to start with 40, he says, or 41, and see how that goes. But um, yeah, super stacked account, as you can see. Very nice. Very, very nice, dude. And he wants Theodore, right? I think. Yeah, okay, he definitely wants Theodore. So hopefully we can get two Theodores, if possible. All right. Good luck, man. Monsoon. Hopefully we can get UTOs. Or something else amazing. I mean, we just used up a lot of luck in the past two with Leo's account and Zexel's account. So hopefully the luck keeps going. Oh man, the pressure. <laughs> if we can get an early one right now, that'd be sick. An early TO and then we, uh, we'll be breathing a little better. A, le a bit less burden. Okay, come on. Oh yes! There we go, guys. TO. Oh, as I was saying. As I was saying, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. There is a TO, dude. There it is. Oh, feels good, man. Feels good. Alright, continuing, guys. So, if we can get another TO here, that would be the dream. But, we're off to an insane start, guys. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Man, feels good. Finally got a TO for somebody. That actually, I mean, we all want it and need it, but... But he didn't have a single TO. <clears throat> Okay. That's a new newish one. Newish. I think I pulled him on mine too recently. That might be new though. I mean we'll take it, right? Who the heck is knocked? It's a dupe for you? It's a poison god. There you go. Alright, continuing. Two legendary so far, that's solid. And another one back to back. Solid. Tomb Lord is solid. He can solo Dragon 25. Um, yeah, he's fun. He's a fun one. AoE defense down, uh, attack down in the same ability. A lot of poisons. He's a cool one. Decrease speed, triple hit on the A1. So just poisoners. Got it. Yeah. Continuing, guys. Man, these raids are nuts. Really solid raids. Jesus! Three? Oh, that's a new one! We got a turkey, guys. Three legendaries in a row. And this is a new legendary, guys. Alley protection strengthen. Filter meters. Cleanse. Oh, that's solid. That's fun. Increases res by 20 in defense for alley protection. Oh, wow. Okay. Really solid support. Really solid. <clears throat> I mean, he looks dope too. Looks really cool. 75 res to team in Hydra. Really, really solid, man. This is already insane. I had 0 Legos and 21 Shards. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just, you know, other people have all the luck sometimes. Keep it rolling. No pressure. No pressure. Four in a row, legendary. Can we make it happen? I've never done that before. Ah, that would have been cool. Come on, man. Give us some sick, sick... Another TO would be really sick here. Potasu is really good for Faction Wars. The one we just passed. Come on, Smiley. What is this? Five epics in a row? Get some gold? <laughs> there it is! We pulled Manaya, guys. Really fun pair with Coronar. Has a lot of heals. 
a lot of heals. Nothing like crazy or top tier, but uh, she's fun. She's cool. Best Lego in the game. What are we at right now, guys? Five Legos out of... Uh, what do we start at? 61 or 62? I'm not sure. Deacon, a really, really great epic champion. AoE defense down. He's got the leash on the A1 and turn meter manipulation. So he can do both of these in the same turn because he just goes back to back with it. And the speed aura. Really amazing epic. And he's actually a promo code for people that are making a brand new account right now. So really good. 21 shards so far and we got five solid ones. UDK is also promo? Yeah, yeah. So it's tough, like do you pick the ultimate death knight or the deacon, right? I mean, before the ultimate death knight promo, I would say 100% deacon out of all the epic champions. But I'd probably go ultimate death knight for sure, because like, when are you, like, you have a better odds of pulling an epic champion and that champion versus like a legendary champion. So, it, I think it's a no brainer. Crimson Helm can solo, um, Bommel. Another solid one, but he doesn't need it. Imagine picking an epic over a meta Lego. Exactly. Exactly. Like if you look at some of the top finishes for Platinum Arena, like I, I use Ultimate Death Knight in my finish also, like nearly every week, right? And he's in like a lot of the top Plat Arena defense, like one through like six, seven, whatever you want to call it. Continuing. <clears throat> He's got here even without the books. Okay, another one. Scartosis, I think he also got... No, he didn't get buffed recently, but he does have a cleanse as well. Um, yeah, an AoE on the A1. He's okay. He's alright. A lot of buffs on the A2. Like the rays are really good so far, that's for sure. And we got the grand prize, which is the TO, right? Oh my god, another legendary, Zavia. Like these are some solid pulls so far, man. Like no, we haven't really seen any fusion champions, right? I don't think we've seen a single fusion yet. Yeah, but I don't think he needed this. But she's uh definitely a solid one as well. Helps you do uh, some speed runs too if you want to use a poison comp. Don't Jesus smiley. Can we get one more Teodor though? That is what he's looking for now. Two Teodors in one session would be insane. All right, so we got six left here before he makes his decision on uh, if we do more or not. Okay. Oh, I haven't seen a Draco more pop up in a minute, man. This used to be such an awesome pull. I mean, it's still an awesome pull. What am I saying? But like back then it was just like a, oh my God, you know, that kind of a pull because like, yeah, for clan boss back then, I mean, AOE defense down a uh, weekend. Um, amazing. Amazing. And he hits hard, right? Really great for clan boss, but I don't think he needed this, but it's still really a cool pull. Jacob Morph is still one of my favorites. Just looks so cool, you know? We're at 7. Make it 8! Marinix! I don't remember if this is a fusion. Was she a fusion, guys? She might have been. Or was she like a daily login champion? Was a fusion. So there's our first fusion, guys. David jinxed us. Congrats, David. Well done, friend. Rx is a login. <laughs> Eight legendaries, guys. Two more to go. 
Two more to go. Give us Tio, and then we can end it there. Another legendary. Was that two? Was that an another triple? Another three legendaries in a row just now? It was, right? We got three legendaries in a row twice. Oh my god. Jesus. By Stofis, uh, I don't think he got buffed or anything like that. He's new? We'll take it. Alright, so last one, guys. Can we do it, guys? Four legendaries in a row. Four in a row, please. For the first time ever. First time. Ah, <sighs> one day, guys. One day. So we, we didn't pull the second Tio, which would be the dream. Because that'll enable a lot of, like, speed compositions in the game. Like, the fastest dungeon times are with two Tios. Alright, continuing. I guess we're pulling the rest, guys. Can we get one more Teodor here? You know what's crazier? We pulled so many secret shards so far and we haven't seen that epic for the fusion yet. Unless I'm... Did we just, call the, just pull the same one uh, back to back? We, we literally just pulled her, right? Unless this guy's a... No, he's not, he's not even a Void Champion. We haven't seen it yet. By Sophis is Thea's Empowerment. Grunge got a recent buff, haven't used him uh, though post nerf. Nowadays it's hard to get the fusion epics, tons of epics in the game, that's true. It's a good point. Okay, we're running dry guys, what happened? I'm feeling another Tio, guys. Uh oh. I think we're like 11 in without a gold. Now we're paying the tax. Come on, Plarium. Let's get one more triple back to back to back. Just one more. You're cold? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I mean, if we pull another TO here, it was worth it, right? But where's the gold at? Okay. Wither is pretty cool. She is super annoying, especially on defense in Arena. But I'm pretty sure he already had her, right? And I'm not sure if he's using her much. But in general, I think she's really solid. A lot. Great support champion. A ton of heals. Uh, blends. Really solid. Uh, yeah, solid though. Come on, another one. Back to back to back. Here we go. Oh! Ghostborn is cool. AoE defense down can't be resisted. I've been chasing after this guy for a long time too. But, yeah. Ghostborn is new? That's good. Can you imagine going as two withers? That's the cheese. Can you imagine another back to back to back gold? We just got two in a row right now, right? Can you imagine another back to back to back? Ah, oh, ruined it, man. Ruined it. Esri, thank you for the uh, the sub two months. Thank you so much, dude. Reeds from Germany. Guten Tag. How's it going? All right, two left, guys. Can we make it happen? One more Teal for the road. One more. Just He's just chasing one more. Last one. The Dream. Insane rates. Can't complain. It was a lot of Sacred Shards. It was. But... You could go 100 shards and still not pull that Tana champion you're going for. You could pull 200 and still not get that Tana champion you're looking for, right? So, it's uh, I think it was really solid. The session was really good. A lot of quality champions. Like, not too many random fusion champions, you know, anything like that. I think it was a solid, yeah, solid session. 12 legendaries out of 61 shards. Solid. Definitely solid. There's no way he's losing this, right?
18,000 and is he part of global? Yeah, definitely. There it is. So Monsoon, thank you so much for letting me pull your shards. Appreciate you very much and I'm glad and happy for you. You got some new ones as well as the Teal you're looking for. One Lego per five shards, almost that's insane. It's really solid, yeah. 